sugar tips, shopping. Okay, you guys blew my mind with your comments and DMs after the last one. And this is not gonna be in my forthcoming book, The Big Book of Bad Decisions, but I decided to put together a list of sugar tips. And this episode will be shopping. Some men don't like to be so cash transactional and they prefer to buy gifts, which is fine as long as you follow these simple principles. Okay, from here on out, you only like two brands of purses, Chanel, Hermes, that's it. I don't make the rules, why? Those are the two brands that I know of that do not depreciate in value. And no Prada, no Gucci, no Louis Vuitton, no Valentino. And if anybody tries to buy you a coach bag or a Michael Kors bag, you should probably file a restraining order against them. Moving on, watches. You want men's sport luxury watches. Here are the brands. Rolex, Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, Vacheron Constantin. Why men's watches? Again, women's watches depreciate. They're also kind of out of style. Jewelry. Guy wants to buy you jewelry, fine. Jewelry must be branded. Branded. Harry Winston, Van Cleef and Arpels, Cartier, Groff, even Tiffany. Diamonds are very difficult to sell. Unless the diamond is huge and flawless, good luck not getting pennies on the dollar. Finally, cars. I don't care if the guy's buying you a Kia or a Bentley. No leases ever. This is a classic scam. Celebrities and other rich guys love to pull on girls. They'll get them a G-Wagon or a Range Rover in their name, then use the girl for a few months, then send somebody to go pick up the car. Get the car titled in your name or no deal. 